been underway for 18 years. Officials say they've received nearly 2,500 tips about Mobley's whereabouts since her disappearance in 1998. Until now, it has been unclear what led investigators to Mobley's discovery. News 2's Sophia Arizoza has the latest. Good evening, Sophia. Good evening, Carolyn. Many wondering how investigators were able to find Kamaya Mobley after so much time had passed. She was living in Walterboro under the name Alexis Manigo for the past 18 years. These arrest records show what led investigators to find her. They also reveal that Alexis Manigo had known she was born as Kamaya Mobley for the last year and a half. She took the baby out of the room and disappeared. Now, nearly 18 years later, she has been found. 51-year-old Gloria Williams was arrested for kidnapping Kamaya Mobley just hours after she was born. Kidnapping is a first-degree felony punishable by up to life. Interference with custody is a third-degree felony with a maximum of five years. Williams renamed baby Kamaya Alexis Manigo and raised her as her own in Walterboro, South Carolina. But arrest records reveal a chilling detail. Alexis Manigo knew she was Kamaya Mobley. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says they received an anonymous tip on August 8th of last year. The tip said Alexis Manigo told her friend that she had been kidnapped as a baby and was listed as a missing person. Two months later, officials received another tip. This one saying Gloria Williams admitted to taking a baby from a Jacksonville hospital and renaming her Alexis Manigo. The tip also stated the two were living in Walterboro, South Carolina. They were always happy, always together, um, never anything, I mean, negative. On January 10th of this year, Jacksonville detectives arrived in South Carolina. We found an 18-year-old young woman with the same date of birth, but a different name. And found that the birth certificate and social security card under Manigo's name were fake. The documents say detectives then interviewed a witness who said Gloria Williams told Alexis Manigo that she was in fact <laughs> Kamaya Mobley. Officials then conducted a DNA test and that's what solidified their reasoning to think that Alexis Manigo was Kamaya Mobley. Now, so the mother has known about this. Any indication of what compelled her to come forward and to tell Kamaya Mobley the truth about her upbringing and, and how she's lived all these years? That is still unclear, but investigators did say that um, Alexis's fraudulent documents became an issue when she was applying for jobs. Yeah. So it could be that she raised those concerns to her mother, who then, you know, had to make that big confession, um, but we still don't know that for sure. Yeah, right. Could have known about it, but because she was trying to get a job and exactly. other things that required that sort of thing, yeah. then that's kind of when it all came to light. Exactly. Sophia, right. thank you. Thanks, Sophia.